Hey guys, welcome back to your weekly Long Beach Island real estate market update with Jen Hornick and Bob Palestri. Yes, this is an alert on the whiteboard today. Seller and buyer alert. By the way, one of my clients told me don't use the green ink anymore because you can't <laughs> see it. Thank uh, you. So, uh, thank you. <laughs> yes. So, inventory really hasn't changed. We're not going to focus on that. We did some time on that inventory, breaking it down. It's still just under 100 homes for sale. But what I did look at was the sale asking prices. 30%, let me repeat that, 30% of the homes that are for sale on LBI have reduced their price. The second important item is days on market. I went in, I took the little sample, I looked at 1 million to 1.5 million. The average days on market and not sold was 91 days. So that's an interesting piece of information that um, makes me think that you have sellers with their homes on the market for three months now thinking, I thought this was a seller's market, why hasn't my house sold? So probably um, they listed the house a little higher than it should have been. Um, but either way, they're sitting there now um, with their house not sold. So to me, this is an opportunity for a buyer to make an offer to one of these owners that really thought they were gonna sell their house right away, probably with a bidding war, but make a reasonable offer and get a great house for a great price. That's a good point, Jen. But also for the buyers um, and the sellers, it is an alert for both of you. Uh, as Jen just underscored for the sellers, but also for the buyers, the, these two data are good for you, but you have to be, we've talked about this before, you have to get ready to move quickly. I think Jen has had an example of that. Yeah, so a lot of people will um, call me up a week after I've sent them a listing and they'll ask, can we come down and see this? No, because it's most likely already under contract. So how, how does that happen? How do homes go under contract that quickly? Um, because serious buyers are prepared. They either have their proof of funds if they're purchasing cash or they have their pre-approval already done and ready to go. So the second the home hits the market, they are probably getting on a virtual tour with their realtor. Um, the realtor knows exactly what they want. So they're in that house, they're on FaceTime, they're walking through it with their agent, and then they're getting in their car, running down and seeing it, because they're like, yep, I like what I saw, and they put that offer in immediately. This is not the time to be sitting on the sidelines or waiting until the weekend um, if something comes on on a Monday. So just to summarize the opportunities, the, the ask prices are coming down. 30% is a big number. The days on market in this sample of 1 million to 1.5, 91 days. Add in the rising interest rates. I heard it again today. The interest rates are going to be rising. Maybe they're saying three times. So this is good information. A key to life decisions is being decisive. So I would think strongly, but being decisive is a key to success. So if you're looking for LBI, I think it's that time. Yep. And one other thing that we just wanted to let you guys know about was Hotel LBI, which is a really cool spot, um, runs a winter special. So go to their website, check it out. Um, you can take advantage of checking out the hotel, which has very large rooms, um, an awesome restaurant. Salt in the hotel is a phenomenal restaurant. You'll never get a bad meal there. Um, they have a pool. And so come down, let your kids hang out, make a weekend of it, and look at a couple houses. So that's great, about it. Great opportunity. Thanks, Jen. We'll see you all next week. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a great one.